call the tentative budget and appropriations public hearing to order. Uh, it's 6.55 on Wednesday, June 21st. Is it 21st? 20th. 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 Uh, Diane, please take your roll. Report, give more detailed information on what the payment was for, i.e., and then there's there's a statement. I didn't make that statement. That's not what I asked for. That may be something you may have mentioned in your motion to see if anybody was interested in the change, but that, that I never said anything like that. I.e., payments Ingram should include titles and quantity purchase. That I wasn't looking for titles and quantity purchase. So. That IE doesn't describe my request. So, were are you suggesting Take that it out? the phrase that begins with IE IE be taken out? The rest of that sentence? Yes, because okay. it's it's irrelevant. So the first part of the sentence uh, is correct, but 
um, after what the payment was for, there should be a period, is what you're suggesting. Um, and you don't recall asking or anything about payment. No, actually, and I, I heard the, the minutes, the meeting yesterday. I, I went on and on about a specific request, but it, it wasn't this terminology. Okay. All right. All right. Um, um, do the movement and the secondary accept that uh, modification? I agree. Okay. Agree. I just had one other question, mm -hmm. comment. Uh -huh. on, on my comments, you know, my... Uh, Where, post, what page are you looking at? Uh, page then? four. Page four. So in regards to the public comment. So, mm -hmm. so my, my uh, comments for, <coughs> for recommendation, <coughs> I, don't, I don't propose to tell anybody what to cut, but my, my, my uh, 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 recommendations that people could use to get to that 5% cut. So I just... I just wanted to be clear that, you know, I'm not saying cut all these things. I'm saying well, this is a, these are the areas where you could pull from to get those cuts. All right. Okay. All right. So if it said with a recommended list of possible cuts? Would yeah, I, I think that's probably a little bit better because, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to tell you guys what the, you know, what you should cut and what you shouldn't. Okay, uh, do the movement in the secondary accept that modification? I'm not sure, because that's not how I remember it. I remember you going on quite a bit about 5%, 5%. Yeah, I, I, I do want 5% cut. I did, I did recommend to have a 5% cut. So what is the thing, you wanted a 5% cut, what is it actually you want to lead it from here? So I, I what I, I think, she captured it uh, effectively in saying that what I was doing is I was recommending things that could be looked at to cut or to modify. And I think that was the whole purpose of my, you know, so, uh, so areas of marketing, you know, why, why do we have to have big signs out and spend $25,000 on chapter one? You know, but I'm not saying that's what you got to cut. For one thing, so chapter one the, is something I use all the time. I, I know you use it. I know you use it. There's 50,000, 7,000 other people okay. in Niles, Maine. All right. yeah. so, so what we came down to is what the change was. Is Mr. Dennis Martin addresses, addressed the board proposing a 5% cut in the budget with recommend, recommendation or recommendation recommended, list. recommended list, list of possible cuts. Including Perfect. looking. So... That's he just wants recommended. Okay, so it's also so the first and second. Year. <coughs> so that's fine. Yeah. 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 Did that change? Okay, right? that's fine. So I just wasn't sure exactly what right. he wanted to change. Thanks for clarifying. Okay. All right. Um, so we now need uh, a vote on the minutes as so amended. And can you all? Uh, yes. Yes. Caroline? Yes. Dennis? Yep. Yes. 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 Okay. Has anyone registered for public comment in the main part of our meeting? Yes. I did. Yes. Uh, well, okay. All right. Let me just mention that I, I think I should probably mention this right now. Last meeting, we had a request for public comment by Mr. Dennis Martin. And um, Patty, you asked if it was proper to for board members to comment during uh, the public comment section. And I said at the time, I said, well, I don't know, I guess so, or I, I didn't have any reason why not. Uh, but since then, I, I've learned that actually board members are not supposed to comment during the public section. Uh, and there is a um, letter written by the Office of the Attorney General uh, which uh, I'm going to circulate copies to you each um, regarding the public comment section. And essentially, the uh, attorney, Pine, attorney General Pine, that open meetings back public comment section is entitled to provide the right to address the board to members of the public, not to the board members themselves. Uh, and the Attorney General stressed that the board members can express themselves uh, during other parts of the meeting and that uh, the public comment section was intended to be a part of the meeting when the members of the public could address the board. Um, so therefore... I, I I'm confused. 
Can you clarify what you're correcting? Okay. I'm not. Not I'm the just, board members themselves that you cannot go up at public comment. It says um, provide the right to address the board to members of the public. Right. So meaning members of the public can address the board? During the public comment section. During the public comment section. Not to the board members themselves. Right. It's what does that mean? It means that it's not a part of the meeting where the board members are to address the other board members. Board members can address other board members during the rest of the meeting. But the public comment section is reserved for members of the general public. So you're saying in previous years when board members made public comments as a resident, they shouldn't have? What I'm saying is that, well, this is a fairly recent decision. It just came out a couple of months ago. Yeah. Um, so I'm just seeing it now. Um, so that is the guidance that we have now from the uh, Illinois Attorney General's Office. And, and so where, where's it actually saying? Um, it's highlighted in orange. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's actually, it, it sounds, it's not clear. Not to the board members themselves. Well, I, I I'm not talking to me. Uh -huh. As a resident, I'm talking to the board. Right to address the board to members of the public. Right, for members and not to board members themselves. It's providing well, the right to the public, not it's not providing the right to the board members. So, um, so are you saying that I cannot give my comments? During this Whatever section. Think. During this right. section. You can't during during Carolyn, right. you uh, can time. certainly talk during other parts of the meeting. Okay, it's a five minute speech. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to move on for right now. Sounds good. Thank you, Karen. So, uh, the next item on the agenda is the Treasurer's Report. Tim? Okay. May is the 11th month of the year. 91.6 of the way through our fiscal budget. Uh, so uh, my report is really short. Um, as all our categories are running on or under budget, and I have found no items of particular note. Uh, on page 10, our property taxes are 99% of our budget, which is uh, not much of a change from last year. Our expenditures continue to be under budget by $92,000 for salaries. Could, could you help me understand that? How, how we're on the budget for the salary? Um, we haven't spent as much as we have budgeted for. Okay. So what happens? Uh, if I may. Uh, sure. So what happens is sometimes people leave, <coughs> and it takes some time to replace. And what we didn't uh, budget for is the turnover. We budgeted for somebody to be in that position. Okay. So uh, that, works. That, happens, that happens throughout, yeah. throughout the budget. Okay. It's generally higher in cycle. And, and if I may, uh, sure. also, we did not spend as much as anticipated on substitutes. Last right. year, we almost overspent. This year, it's, we have not had to do that as much. All right. All right. Uh, page 11, library materials. Obviously, variance for specific line items, but overall, the category is exactly that budget. Uh, operating expenditures, uh, no substantial change from last month. Overall, category is under budget by $55,000. Page 12, general category is running under budget by $35,000. And similar, page 13 and 14, all items are running under the budget. And our total expenditures are running 8% under budget. So I do recommend Susan for um, adherence to the budget and uh, meeting expectations. Is that better? Can I just a couple comments? Yes. I just made a couple notes when I was looking through the statement. And um, for the passports budget that we had you know, proposed, um, I just want to give kudos because it's pretty much on the mark, um, even though that was pretty much of a prediction. So I thought that was pretty awesome, actually. Um, I think we're only a couple thousand different, as of right now, and we still actually have a little time left. So um, I thought that was pretty good. And also, um, the legal fee and consultant, that's always been kind of a thorn in my side. 
piece. So um, it's very low right now, and I just want to commend the whole board for that. And I know there's times when we have to, of course, call the lawyers, and, um, but I just want to say that I'm really happy that we're using our money for the patrons, um, our salary, professional development, and the lawyers. <coughs> I did notice that too that it seemed to be a very low amount, amount it's, perhaps a historic low in terms of recent history. Right, and um, I know that's one thing that we were, mm -hmm. I was really upset with, you know, mm -hmm. quite a few years ago mm -hmm. when we were using it. Mm -hmm. uh, using that money, which really doesn't benefit the, our mission. Well, in all honesty, I think the kudos goes to Karen because under Karen as president, we have rarely had the attorneys there. But when you were president, when the, they were here like every month. No, so I think she would almost agree when they called or call them very after call them because, I, you know, I think that we decided we were not going to call them all the time. Mm -hmm. Certainly in some years past, I remember they were here almost every meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think we decided at some point as a board that we were going to jointly decide if we were going to call them or not, mm -hmm. um, if we thought there was a problem coming up, or sometimes in an emergency we would call them. But we really have tried to avoid doing that. So um, anyway, that worked out for this year, but we'll see. We'll see right, how that, right. that goes. Yeah. Um, so any other uh, questions or comments on the treasurer's report? I, I, well, I had a question on the check register. Is that right. time for that? Mm -hmm. um, actually, that's really the next section. I was going to recommend it. That we probably should have the treasurer's report and then move to the payment of bills and look at the check register during that. Okay. Because right. that's, every month it's getting kind of blurred. Okay, fine. Yeah, all right. Okay. Fine. Why don't I actually ask for a motion to approve the payment of bills, and then we can discuss it after that motion's on the floor. Uh, approve the payment of bills for operating expenses of $346,356.24, and payroll expenses of $280,964.70 for a total monthly expense of $627,320.94. So motion. Thank you, Penny. Second? Second. Okay, all right. So now that the motion is on the floor, do we have any questions about the bills? About the check register, right? Okay. Okay. Um, under um, Visiographic, is that um, chapter page? one? Oh, chapter 17. Yes. Is that chapter one? Mm -hmm. um, because the payment is over 9000 I thought it was 5000 it's the chapter one part of it is around is a little over five thousand, but they also print some of our summer reading materials. Oh, well. okay. All right. Good I catch. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Let's see. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All right. May I have your roll call then? Karen. Uh, yes. Carolyn. No. Yes. Sure. Diane. Yes. Penny. Yes. Linda. Yes. Tim. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Next item on the agenda is the director's report. Susan. All right. I just wanted to highlight the first thing in my director's report, which is the coming together in Skokie and Niles Township. You probably read in the newspaper or saw it here that uh, the culture that they're going to be exploring next year is Polish. One of our staff members is going to be the lead member of the community group that works on that. She's going to be reaching out to different community leaders, not just not as proper, but uh, in, in the Chicago area. So this is kind of a big deal. And then the library will be helping pick the book for discussion and um, hosting the press conference when it kicks off in January, things like that. So it's a very exciting opportunity for us. In the past, Skokie has been the lead on this. This year it's going to be us. And so on. Uh, as Tom Wild has put in the newspaper today, 18% of the population of Niles is Polish. Oh, so yeah. it's really, yeah. really, it's really, we were very excited when they picked that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to alert you to the fact that Dave has been painting on the outside of the building. He did some swatches. <laughs> and on your way out, if it's not dark, it's not dark, oh. you can take a look. Or some type of swatches. I was looking, but I didn't see it. Right on the west side, and I also have some painting on top of the road here, too. So. Okay. Yes. Possible shades to paint the stucco, um, which is the kind of pinky stuff now. The, so these are one of them is more of a creamy color, and one of them is more of a grayish brown. So um, you might just take a look and let me know what you think. 
um, at, or come back some other day. And then I think you have at your places, is that the, the Chamber of Golf? Yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I had neglected to put that on your trusty calendar, so I apologize for that. Golf is sort of not my thing, so it's not on my radar. Mm -hmm. But uh, that would be an opportunity for you to attend that if you want. So do let me know. So as usual, you can out. just go to the dinner. You, you know, right, you don't have to play golf. Play golf. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody is interested in that, please let us know, and we'll get you signed up. Okay. And that is all I have. Uh, okay. Thanks, a couple questions. Are we going to go around here? Uh, yes. Yeah. Go, go right ahead. Okay. On page 34. On the bottom. Uh, from before you. Uh, could you explain it just a little bit with all that stuff? Uh, that we begin laying around for the end of time to have exchange? Right. We're going to be um, making our ordering process more computerized so that it's not. Uh, We'll be sending orders electronically oh, without sorry, person. Books. Oh, books. Yeah, materials. technical services orders all of the materials for the collections. So and this is through our vendors, the Ingram and the Midwest State, right? The two we're starting with, because they're our two biggest vendors. vendors. So they'll be, it'll just be a more uh, automated process that way, and then we'll be getting information back from them in a more automated way. Right. Victoria, is there anything else that you would want to add? Um, I, I think you covered it. It yeah. just uh, makes the process a lot smoother, and there's less repeating of efforts, so the selectors can begin the process in the with the computer, uh -huh. and it follows all the way through. So if everything is done electronically instead of um, the majority of orders coming down as paper cards, and so that will um, cut out a lot of the, you know extra. Sure. All right. And um, kudos to the passport service on page 35. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And on page 37, um, uh, that's great that we're going to have panic buttons. Um, um, I'm not there, Richard is working for the panic buttons. We, we don't have that now. Any kind of a verified more purple. But there are we'll a few more ads. Oh, okay. Right. I assume you, 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 you test those and you have to pop out. Yeah. And the art and display, uh, Stanislaw Kilar, is that a local artist or who is that? Uh, I don't remember where he lives. Is he? Yeah, he's local. He's local. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, not all of the artists in the gallery are sure. We would run out of artists. But yeah, it's no, I, I just. But, yeah. I just thought that was great. All right, thank you very much. Any other uh, questions? I have comments? a question yeah. about um, art and display. Um, is this, did I misunderstand, or is this the art and display that with the Village and Isles are we? Oh, no. That would be the Public Arts and Culture Advisory Council. When I say arts and display, it's just one of the committees of the library, and so it's talking about our little gallery up here. Which oh, the so we're not the hosting the, the paintings from the artists that will be signing up with the village. No, that, that this artist is going to be displaying out here. Uh, the Arts and Culture Council, they are putting in the benches right now. Oh, okay. Um, things like that are going oh, on. I have artists culture. that are interested in displaying. The, oh. oh. They should be, if, if you have artists that are interested in displaying, yes. they should contact Victoria. Okay, oh, good. Diane. So it's still a possibility. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Yeah. So I have yeah. All right. No, we're you. just between displays right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Baseball down. Great. 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 Um, Yes. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Get her hand. No, so page, page 36. Uh, so Matthew, Matthew's position is being split into two. Yeah, Matthew is hired a, to do a part-time position, and then we expanded the position when he, so that he, not, we didn't expand his position, but he took up another part-time position, which then became, a, so that he was working here full-time for two different departments doing two different jobs. Okay, so. But we would not expect anyone else to do that. That just sort of was organic. It's, you know, he came in in one department and was added to another. So do you have a difficulty in hiring part-time as far as experience yes. and yes, qualifications? It, I, I think they're doing a great job, but um, but yeah, everybody leaves as soon as you have, as soon as they can find a full-time sure. job. So, you know, and, and Matthew really liked the webmaster part of the job, mm -hmm. and we just don't have a full-time webmaster position. So, 
But yeah, it's uh, we we have been very fortunate in being able to hire some good people like Matthew, but they don't always stay very long. Mm -hmm. Is there a position you feel needs to be increased in the amount of hours? Uh, well, we'll find out. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. But for now, um, Susie has already hired, filled her position, and that would be Syed Ali. That was the one half of the position, and Sasha is working on his half. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Any other Yes. She's gone. Okay. Okay, Linda. I was just going to say the uh, summer program. Um, my my kids are excited about it. What I think is nice about it versus I'm running by four age because my grandson's in district six through four, so of course he wants to go there too. Is the program they have two different programs depending on the age of the kids. If they're readers, there's one program. If they're not readers, there's another program. And I honestly think, in my opinion, it's it's a nicer setup. Um, there were some things they do that I figure I'll talk to you guys about at another day that might be interesting for you guys to consider for the future. Great. Um, the other thing is, I wanted to say when I was here with the kids, I noticed the sign. And the one that's telling us to turn on the side street, mm. it's very noticeable. It, it's it's a good sign. The one to the north, you mean? Yeah, the one right here. Yeah, right here. When you're looking for coming south. Anybody still missing the library yet? The one on Waukegan. The one on Waukegan. Just on the side street. Yeah, I know. I like that one too. It's a nice sign. It's very visible. Yeah. Okay, uh, any other questions about the director's report? A quick question about uh, interns, hiring interns. Sure. Is there a, a cost? Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the high schoolers are not getting paid a huge salary. I, so, what do they get paid per hour? I think they might be 13, but I may be misremembering because we have two sets of interns. We've got the well, we had the one that was paid for by the PLA grant, so that's right. one of the two high school interns. And then the other one is it getting, I think it's 13 an hour, but honestly I'm not 100% sure. And then the two um, college or beyond college ones um, are get, getting paid a little bit more and they're getting paid out of the per capita grant. So you have two or three people hired, or is this two? We have two interns and, two teen interns and then two with youth services. That so are the four in total. Four total interns, right. Yep. Ra ranging around $13 an hour. Something like that. Pretty good. Because I do a lot of research out there for the uh, different positions and benefits and things like that. And it's amazing when benefits kick in. I know they're not happening here. Oh, gosh, no. Uh, but I also know what people are doing. In other places, so I'm surprised that there's any issue with trying to find somebody to fill a position. Well, we didn't have any trouble with the high school interns, they'd be down the door, but it's yeah. just for the like six weeks of, yeah. of their summer break. It's so. more of a longer term adult positions that are a little harder to fill, especially the skilled positions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the next item on the agenda is raising reports. Do we have any from the principal library, legislative or rails? Uh, no, actually, friends, the meeting, I think it's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. for the switch their... So is this the first time they, first new day that they've met on? Yes, the, the last switch, time, right? yes, the last one was canceled because there weren't enough members. Do they so. think they'll have more people attending on a different day of the week? I, you know, I don't even know what caused the change. I, okay. I just got an email that it was that date, and then I got an email that it was canceled. Okay. And then after Susan's uh, uh, conversation about that they're changing permanently, I just put them all on my calendar. So we'll see. All right. Okay. Then we'll turn to new business. Um, this is number eight on our agenda. Um, 8A. Um, do I hear a motion to approve payment to Physiographic in the amount of $5,669.90? Uh, 
This is for the printing of the uh, first chapter one newsletter primarily. There's such a motion? Okay. Motion. Second. Thank you. All right. Any questions or discussion about this item? Yeah. Yes. So I just wondered if after my uh, last meeting where we talked a little bit about areas where we could go more green. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe where we had duplication of efforts, uh, you know, because I'm sure we had that summer read, the big sign we have on the front of the library, I'm sure that had to be in chapter one. So we're, you know. You mean, I'm sorry. I, 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 so the cost here of $5,669. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. No, I'm sorry, what was outside that was? Yeah. Well, so there's a sign on the front of the library yeah. that talks about the summer read program. Uh -huh. Banner. So I'm assuming that there might have been something with chapter one also talking about some of these. So again, I just let's go green. Let's quit spending as much money. I I find this an awful lot of money. Uh, I I requested that we try to drive down that cost. Uh, and you know, when we have duplication, so if we're going to do banners, if we're going to do chapter one, I, I think we should be picking one, one or the other. I'm not sure who the, who the sign's going to hit versus chapter one, because chapter one goes out to an awful lot of people. So, just, just some thoughts, you know. I, I, I'm constantly trying to look at the budget and, and find ways to where you know, why not spend as much money as well? Mm -hmm. um, one thing we might do is compare the uh, publications that other uh, libraries put out. I think that, you know, if we want to do that, I we can collect true. issues from surrounding uh, libraries and, you know, compare to see how does ours look? Does it look like we're overdoing it compared to similar libraries or not doing as much? Um, I don't mind going around and collecting some and bringing to the next meeting. If anyone else is going by any of the other libraries in our area, they can do so too. I could check out Park Ridge. Like I, I actually have a staff. <laughs> the staff have been collecting them for a few months now because we have been, been looking at this. You know, we yeah. took your concerns seriously. We actually okay. did reduce the cost of Chapter One by over a thousand dollars back a couple of years ago when Carolyn first raised it. This first raised the question. We changed the paper and. So the glossiness and everything, and we were able to bring the cost down by quite a bit then. Um, but it is one of my goals, you'll find it in my uh, write up of what I plan to do next year is to look closely at chapter one and see what. what I, I, just, I just think that, you know, uh, maybe display boards versus, uh, you know, doing the printing. You know, we could have stuff within the library, you know, uh, rather than printing. I, you know, I, I recommended let's try to go green more uh, and, and and many of the libraries aren't, aren't driven on trying to push down that cost mm -hmm. uh, so when you say you know i'm going to compare it to other libraries it doesn't mean that that library, those yes. libraries are trying to drive down that particular cost mm -hmm. so it's you know it's like uh, you know i could compare you know what i'm going to buy or pay for a coke and well gee pepsi's the same thing you know so nobody's really trying to drive down it and why do you think that's true? That they're not trying to drive down something that's successful. What's successful? Well, their their flyers that go up. That's why they're not dragging down the cost. Is that what you're saying? No. What I, what I'm saying is is that there's not a concerted effort to to go and look at driving down that cost because uh, you know there was no effort to to drive down the cost until somebody else on the board made that. So, so anyway, what we're, what we're what we're in right now is the director report part of the I'm sorry. payment of Pardon? new business payment to Visograph. Payment of Visograph. So we're we're looking at paying that, and I mean, can at I this ask point, a we question can't just, about that particular well, let me just finish, finish my sentence. So we we at this point we're not really uh, looking at reviewing our whole idea of whether or not we're going to redo right. chapter one or have it or not have it, but. I would suggest we put that on the agenda sure. for a future meeting. We could, all, we could always do that because, mm -hmm. see, we don't want to let the guy talk before the meeting. And we don't want to let him talk during the meeting either. 
Well, I would like to point out that what we do we? What we're, what we so, so I bring up something to talk about. Okay. And, and we were told that, oh, you can bring up and talk about things during the meeting. Right. But now you're saying, well, let's see if we can put it on I the agenda. I am suggesting that if you want to put it on the agenda, we can discuss it thoroughly. And, and we maybe can we look, can vote if it goes on the agenda. And we too, can right? look at the additions that other libraries are using. We don't have those in front of us right now. But I think that would be useful to have, too. So... I still um, need to ask a question. What is your question? Two months ago, mm -hmm. when we brought up Chapter 1, mm -hmm. I asked Susan about the distribution process, and I asked her uh, about getting information regarding that. She said she would. What she did mention is that the printer brings these publications to the Morton Grove Post Office, and somehow they're distributed by carrier routes. So... Um, it would be nice to know where they're going and, and um, to Trustee Olson's comment about them being effective. We have no measurement of that, which is something else we probably should consider. I know, Susan, you mentioned that the senior citizens um, really um, value the um, Chapter 1, but I'm wondering, is that because a bunch of them are dropped off across the street at the senior center, or is it truly through the mail? So these are things we really need to look into. And your idea about checking all the other libraries is, is a good idea. It's nice to know what everyone else is doing. But in terms of trying to provide a publication and try to figure out how to cut costs, it's more a marketing um, a kind of issue, and that's where the recommendations really would come from, not necessarily just other libraries. So there's a million ways to do this, but back to my question for information. Any idea when I will be getting you that? Well, I, I think on page 36 in my director report, mm -hmm. and Sasha did write about the trip that he and Greg made to Visographic and they, where they have started learning about the best way to get pricing and the, the way to find out where the carrier routes are located. So he is working on that. And as I said, I do have this as one of my goals for this year. And so, it is part of the strategic plan. I don't think I promised you a report on the carrier routes. Yeah, you did. Uh, no. Yeah, I listed but, it in the minutes. You did. You said you would get that information to me. I, I said that we would get that information. I don't know that I said I would report that information back to the board. So no, I thought I asked you where. said you would get it. But anyway, just so I understand. So Sasha spoke with the printer, and the printer is reviewing the route? I'll ask Greg to speak to that, because Greg and Sasha went together. Oh, okay. Uh, so, um, if there's a graphic, they have uh, in-house staff that uh, uh, their sole job is to deal specifically with carrier routes in the, uh, in the post office. Um, what we did do is we looked at we looked at carrier routes, and there are several of them. Um, we are paying the lowest possible rate that the post office uh, offers, I think uh, 7.3 cents, I think, uh, per, per item. Uh, it's, not, it's not addressed, it's not sorted. Uh, the way that it works is that if on a particular route there are 150 addresses, they get 150 pieces, and as they're putting stuff in the mailbox, they take one each time for that particular route. We do have some routes which uh, straddle our just district lines. So in those cases, um, what we do is uh, send specifically to those addresses uh, that are on our side of the, uh, of the district line. So there is a list that we provided them? Is that how that was created? So well, actually, who... uh, I don't know what the genesis of the list was, but there is a list. And, and we did and we did check it. We did have a number of um, items uh, on. So we have we have a list of carrier routes mm -hmm. which are wholly enclosed in our district. Those in are Niles. easy. So that's well, easy. Well, in Niles, in Glenview, unincorporated Glenview, and we're we're a district and we're bigger than Niles. We get fifty eight thousand. But in Glenview, uh, doesn't it get a little hairy because it's not just everyone for a carrier? He doesn't really know selectively who to drop it off. Yes, they do. Yeah, because um, uh, there are also uh, carrier routes that are wholly enclosed in Glenview in our district. 
so, oh, this, so that's how they were determined. So if this, gotcha. if this guy is going to, you know, carry a route one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. uh, and it has 150 uh, addresses, he gets 150 right, pieces right. and he parcels them out. And um, uh, there's roughly uh, 22,500 individual addresses that comprise the uh, district. The Niles district or the whole district? The, the, the entire library district, district. The library district. Um, Only 22,000? Yeah, 22,500. And if you divide that into 58,000 uh, residents in total in the service area, you get something like two and a half or something like that per household, two and a half people per household, which is about what it should be. So you're saying 22,500 includes the entire library district, that's mm -hmm. main township and everything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where it comes up to 58,000? Yeah, that's our service area. Because we assume that. Is it possible to get a copy of whatever the, they have for the library in terms of distribution? You know, it's it's an online tool. Uh, we can certainly take some screenshots or something. It's like an online tool. T O O L tool. So they have to search it every time they. Well, things change. Yeah, you know, houses are condemned. Uh, houses are built. Uh, well, I don't know that they do. I don't know how often they would actually, you know, that may be a check system that's in place, but I don't think it's every month. It's something that's done maybe once a year. But could, can you provide us with that information? That, I'd like I think to it takes some screenshots. I mean, well, basically. Can't they just print the information? Well, isn't this, this is an R information, is it? No, it's, it's, the post, it's, it's the post office. It's the post oh, office. I thought it was the company who creates it. And no, so it the what, the, what they do is they. You know, and with the online tool, they identify the routes that are within our district. We can take a screenshot of that. Okay, if you I like. see. Okay, um, but you get it because um, we'll see what we can do. Okay, all right. So, can you take a screenshot? Can you just send it to me so I can like stretch it? You know what I mean? Don't. This is going to be a list of numbers. Right, but I need to read it. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk all right. Later. May I just ask so, one quick yes. Time? So you're telling me that this 5,000 is for 22,500 22, mailers. 22,500 addresses, right. And we have extras. That's uh, so, so that ends up being like, I don't even know, is it even 17 cents? Um, Maybe each? I don't know. Yeah, I have this. Know. What does yeah. that mean? It's about 17 cents. Is it 17 yeah, cents? Works, yeah. So we're talking 17 cents per household. Yeah. Just wanted to break yeah. it down. Thank Plus you. seven and a half cents. Or twenty-five thousand, twenty-six thousand a year. Plus, so I'm like, plus how much for the poster? Uh, seven point okay. three cents per flat. I'd like to find a new way flat. to find how people are going to understand and see the program besides going to the website. That needs to be addressed then. I, I think we, we've got an excellent person exactly. over there that this can is, explore it. And this is actually That's what I asked. This is what we're, okay. we're doing. And I'm not a senior citizen yet, I don't think. Some people might think I am. But I totally use this thing, this chapter one. And I use it not just for my own stuff, which I went for uh, to try and sign up for four classes, two of which were already totally, uh, I was on the wait list. Um, but I also look at things for my grandchildren since they live with me. I find this extremely useful. Oh, I think it's extremely effective. We're just trying to make sure, you know, tons of these are being dumped at, in condo buildings. We're just trying to figure out what's a more efficient way to get the information out. So we're, that's what we're reviewing now. We're not saying Perfect. not to send the information. Okay. We just so, need to you know, figure out a better way to do it. Right. I think perhaps we could have a more thorough yeah. discussion of this. Yes. Um, you are. Yeah. He, is, he is. You are. Yeah. So you're saying keep it, but distribute it correctly. He's saying get rid of it. I'm saying. I'm saying let's find a greener, oh, way, a greener way to do it. it. Yeah. Right. As, as many places try to. Okay. We can we can discuss this more next time, and we will have public copies of other districts. We will have some information that is already in the process of being collected. Uh, we can talk about exactly start to finish how we. Produce chapter one and distribute it, and what the cost is. Can I ask it? It's yes. two months, so because I do have this, as I said, for, as one of my goals for the year, and I don't want to present a little bit of information. I don't want 
you know, I can bring you the newsletters, and that's not a problem, but I'd really rather have Sasha finish the analysis that he has started working on, and we have, you know, been doing a number of things towards this, and I'd really rather present a completed look at it, and I think we can probably do it within two months. That's what's well on the way. I would say within the next, yeah. the next, you know, before December. You know, well, the, Okay, and, fine. Yeah, if you're doing the fall, whatever, you know, just whatever your timeline is so that you can okay. gather all the information. All right, two time. minutes sounds good. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. Where do we do this? Oh, yes. So we have a motion pending regarding our payment to visit that. Um, would you please call the roll? I think I have a motion. Yes. 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 Okay, fine. Okay, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? No. Thanks. You know, we have to pay for it. Um, we have it printed, we got to pay for it. Please. Yep. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay, do, that. do I now hear a motion to adopt Ordinance-1802 in order to setting the schedule of meetings of the Board of Trustees of the Niles Main District Library for the fiscal year Commencing July 1st, 2018, and June 30th, 2019. Do I have such a motion? I make one. Okay. Second. Okay. okay. Either one of us. We both send it at the same time. Okay. Um, if we turn to the next page, we see the list of meetings that will be scheduled for the next year, the regular meetings. And uh, as usual, we'll be meeting on the third Wednesday of the month, with the exception of November. Uh, November 14th is going to be a little early. And otherwise, I think it's the third Wednesday of March, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. Oh, wait, right. December. Yeah. Is, is December is a question. Um, okay. It's listed as December 19th, which is the third Wednesday. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to move the December meeting or just leave it as it is. Hmm. No, it's, no, it's, it's <laughs> December 19th, you know, I'm saying to do like the I'm not saying we should or shouldn't move it, I'm just giving board members an opportunity to say whether or not they want to have it moved. I, I'm fine with well, it as it is. The only thing is if we moved it, we certainly can't move it a, a week later. And no, I think no. it's havoc moving things a week earlier. Yeah, okay, fine. You know? All right. At least it's my thought. Even I mean, we can't skip the month, so I guess you have to have it. All right. Well, we, could, we actually could skip a month. I don't think it's we're actually required to meet every single month. Aren't there so things some that, bodies to skip aren't there certain yeah. things in December though that we have to certain things that we have to certain documents that have to be done in December? Are there certain things that we have to do December 31st or is that a Susan different will call you first thing we'll <laughs> share. <laughs> yeah, I honestly I guess I am not quite sure. But you know the end of our fiscal year is June thirtieth, so yeah. probably not. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't know how for the Cook County Bird we skips we the, put in straws only four skips the summer month altogether. Oh, just skip it every year. Was it four or three, four? So, well, I don't. I, I don't think we're seriously considering that for at the moment. But perhaps in the future. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, not having heard any. Motion to change any of the dates. Um, Diane, please take the role to establish these dates as the dates we will meet on during our next fiscal year. Okay, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Diane? Yes. Andy? Yes. Linda? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, next I need a motion to adopt Ordinance 1803, an ordinance adopting the prevailing wage rates <coughs> for laborers, workers, and mechanics. Employed by the Niles Main District Library. Do I have such a motion? Second. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions or comments on this matter? Um, may I have a roll call then? Hey, Karen. Yes. Carolyn. Oh, yes. Dennis. Yes. Diane. Yes. Hey. Yes. 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 All right, turning to the next matter on our agenda. Um, 
a motion to approve that the Niles Main District Library continue to participate in the non-resident library card Illinois program and charge an annual fee of $293 based on the formula established by the Illinois State Library. Uh, may I have a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Okay. All right. Susan, did you want to, again, tell us who's charged this fee and how we sure. calculate this? Yes. Um, so, as you know, we are a district library. That means we take in uh, many of the residents in uh, unincorporated displays and unincorporated Glenview, but there are there's a pocket of unincorporated Glenview and a pocket, a larger pocket of unincorporated displays, which is not part of the library district. They are outside the village limits or the city limits of displays in Glenview, so they are what's called unserved. They are not paying taxes to anyone. They cannot get a library card anywhere without paying for it. So the state asks us each year to set what rate we would be charging those people for a library card based on what we would be charging them if they were living in the district. And so it's a calculation. Um, there are two ways to calculate it, one of which is the formula that we have laid out here, which is basically just a percentage of, a, of uh, the amount of revenue that we take in, and it's just an average. Uh, the other way of doing it is to have people bring it, pay the first 15% of their of a month of rental and or a month of their uh, mortgage. And when we calculated that to see if it would be lower or higher, it was actually it turned out to be a little bit higher. So we decided to just stick with the flat. Um, so what it came out to this year was $293. So that's the average of what uh, the households. Is, this varies pay. depending on the library. Yeah, oh yeah, very much so. Yeah. Okay. Because if I remember correctly, I thought we pay more for kids at our school who are non-resident for the displays library. That could be a card. Yeah. Well, and ours varies year to year as well. Okay. Um, well, yeah. interesting. We don't realize. sell very many, in all honesty. It's most of the families that are in those areas don't don't come down. But we do sell a few, and we have to be able to sell it if they want it. We should show them that film. Sure, why it's worth $293 at least to uh, record. Yeah, it's still use a library. They just can't check it. Yeah, it's right here itself. Uh huh. So, you need to have that music. Sorry. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Diane, did you take the roll? Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Diane? Yes. Diane? Yes. 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 Um, the budget. Um, do I now hear a motion to adapt Ordinance 18-4, an ordinance providing for the budget appropriations of the Niles Main District Library for County Illinois for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2018, and ending June 30th, 2019. Second. Second. All right. Uh, any discussion? I just want to. Clarify. Mm -hmm. We we have a budget that um, we have we have a we we're going to approve a budget, but we haven't really decided what categories consist of. We just know the line items will have X number of dollars in them, and throughout the year, as items come up, they'll just we'll know then that they were part of the budget. Isn't that about what we're doing? We're like just we're approving a blanket amount. We kind of really don't have a breakdown of everything. Remember, like that Adobe um, software came up. It was included in a software line, which I, I didn't know specifically, but it was included. So actually, we really don't know what our budget line items entail, correct? Well, no, that's not correct. Um, we do here have, in our, have on our ordinance a breakdown of what we're spending in each category for salaries, library materials, operating expenses, administrations, fringe benefits, utilities, operating, building and maintenance, etc. Um, so we do have it broken down, and we did go over the budget earlier uh, at a special board meeting, and uh, we had opportunities to ask a number of questions. Now, you uh, did want to know at one of our previous meetings what exact books we're going to buy in the upcoming year, and we said no, we we're not going to be able to get that type of detail ahead of time as to what we were going to be spending our dollars on. Um, we did agree that the level of detail that we have in our budget that has been presented to us 
uh, is adequate for us to uh, make a decision on as to whether or not this is the budget and corresponding appropriation that we want to make. Well, I guess I'm just trying to, to clarify. I wasn't aware of an Adobe uh, purchase because it was part of a line item. And if I don't know what's in the line item, then how can I say I really know what the budget covers? It just happened to come up last month. That's why I'm bringing it up. But I understand exactly where you're coming from. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, so uh, I just want to make it clear again that, you know, I see what the budget is stated as. Uh, I can ask that there be a uh, 5% cut in the budget. Uh, I offered up a number of recommendations. So I, I don't agree with what the budget is set at. I also recommended that we should look at the overall uh, expenditures on library materials because we, we don't even hit that standard. I heard that standard of about, I thought it was 12 percent. So we're not even, we're not hitting that dollar spend on library materials. So I, I, I think we were going to, I was recommending that we should take a look at that, that we, you know, we try to meet that additional spend there. Uh, so increase that part of it, but cut back uh, other parts of the budget. Uh, so that's just my final comment. Uh, I, I know everybody has a difference of opinion, but it's okay. Uh, it's just my opinion. So, oh, thank you, Dennis. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Don't kill me. I did have a question. No, I was looking at the 1617 budget. And no, what you <laughs> 1718 budget. Okay, so this year we paid our last payment to IMRF and it was like 532,000. Okay, so I was looking at the um, total of last year's budget and I subtracted the 532 out because that really wasn't part of the budget. So that budget amount actually. <coughs> Came to six million nine. So what I wanted to say is, our budget this year is seven million three. Yep. Why are we still so high? Because we don't need that five hundred thousand for IMRF. Shouldn't it have come down? Well, we're trying to or did something it huge yeah. come into the budget that I, I don't, don't have last, budget, last year's budget in front of me right now? Uh, but perhaps, perhaps Greg, would you like to address yeah, that? Yeah, I'll comments. Um, one of the things you have to look at is the capital plan. The capital plan this year is about $920,000, I believe. Um, last year, it was, I, I believe, $450,000, $448,000 or thereabouts. So that's where the, uh, that's where the bulk of the increase is, uh, maybe all of it. So, me... And Dennis, when you look at, when you look at the, uh, percentage of materials on the overall budget, you need to exclude the capital spend. Because the capital spend, you know, varies. I mean, you have to think about it this way. If you go back to when we were doing the uh, renovation, we get like $3 million one year because we put the boilers in and we you know, did, you know, the demolition and everything. To take 12% of that, we add $360,000 to the overall materials budget, which isn't indicative of what our needs are. So you have to take capital okay, spend well, out. You know, maybe we can, you know, have a better explanation of that when we're discussing the budget so that I have a better understanding because, you know, when I'm looking at the numbers and, you know, I, we're trying to parse those out, mm -hmm. it looks like we were understanding. Like, well, yeah, we're, we're, right at, we're, right we're here to advocate for the patrons that have yeah, material. And if you take the $900,000 capital yeah. plan out, we're right at 12%. So the $903,600, mm -hmm. if you subtract that from the grand total, mm -hmm. um, take 12% of the remainder. It's supposed to be based on the total operating, so based on the okay. $5 million, $7 And with the 12, and the materials, uh, is that would be the library materials, total materials, the 1.561? Well, you have to, it's not the appropriation of the budget. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, look at the wrong column. <laughs> 680,000. Thank you. Okay, other questions? No, thanks.
Okay, all right. Um, may I have a roll call, Diane? I'm Karen. Yes. Carolyn? No. Dennis? No. Diane? Yes. Candy? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay, all right, we'll move to the next item. Yes. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the renewal of the short-term disability and long-term disability insurance through principal insurance for $1,008.68 per month or $12,104.16 annually at the current enrollment levels for the 2018-19 fiscal year? Do I have such a motion? Second. Yes. Second. Okay. She seconded. She okay. seconded. All right. Um, it, there is information on our packet about this, which it, some people may have some questions on. I, I, I thought it was a little confusing at first, but then I think I about figured it out. I'm not really sure. Um, would, would anyone like to have some questions about that disability packet and how they're and the different parts of it? But maybe not. Okay. 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 All right, if there are no questions, then we can just move right to the roll call. Diane? Uh, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Dennis? Diane? Yes. Katie? Yes. Linda? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to a motion to adopt the resolution 1801, um, a resolution approving the destruction of certain closed session minutes according to the Board of the Library. Trustees of Niles Main District Library. Uh, do I have such a motion? Is there yeah. a second? Second. Okay, all right, fine. Um, so there's information in our packet about this too. Under the Open Meetings Act, we have to retain the recording for 18 months, but then assuming we have minutes of those uh, closed sessions and we've approved the minutes of those closed sessions, not necessarily released them, but at least approved them, uh, we can then, after 18 months, dispose of those recordings. And I think the thought is, is if there, there was going to be any complaints made under the Open Meetings Act, they would have had to have been made by this time, and therefore the recordings can be destroyed. Um, so, any questions or discussions about this? Not specifically, but can I ask a minute question about recording? Now, this is for executive sessions. There, there's a time limit. Is there a time limit on the recordings for the regular um, board minutes? There's no, uh, no. But do they get to no show? rule? Well, there's no rule that you have to have recordings at all. Right. However, I think once they've been been created, they probably fall under the local records act. Is that what that Cindy is? Uh, in charge of that, so she would be in charge of. Uh, she applies to the state to destroy anything that uh, has passed the amount of time that you have to keep. Do you know what the amount of time is? Because our our video or our audio recordings are much more detailed than our. So maybe for certain meetings, I may want a copy, or I may want to make sure I have a copy. But so we maybe check into that. I don't so know. So can maybe check into that. Yeah, Let us know. I know. Um, okay. 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 That, I, I'm, I'm guessing you're right that it is a local records act um, yeah. rule that would apply to it, but I don't know what it okay. is out there. Okay. Um, unless there's any further discussion, uh, Diane, will you take the roll? Okay. Uh, Karen. Yes. Carolyn. Oh, oh. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Dennis. Sure. Diane. Yes. Annie? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, now we need to discuss the 4th of July parade. So um, first of all, are some of us marching in the parade? Uh, I'm not this year. No? You're not? Yeah. A couple of us are? No. This year I have no choice. I have to be in this plane. Okay. All right. That's right. Um, so um, I think there was some question about where we were in the lineup of the parade. Yeah, yeah this was, um, I was thinking about the, uh, the, the parade and the position of the um, library trustees. And every year we march with the staff, and it dawned on me that the other trustees for the other um, organizations, the Board and Park District, the, uh, the Village, um, the um, Township, uh, and the other trustees, they generally march separate 
from the uh, staff and they march closer to the front. Uh, and and it, it, it kind of was a broader issue for me that very often we don't, I think sometimes we don't view ourselves as equal to the other trustees of other organizations. And I, I just wanted to bring up that discussion as to whether or not anybody felt rather than being uh, trustees with the staff that we should have our own separate uh, space in the, in the parade. It's no big deal. It's just a thought. I was just bringing it up for the discussion. Uh, I, it would be nice. I personally am not marching in the parade this year, so you know it's, it's a moot point as far as I'm concerned. But I just thought it would be an interesting discussion. It's a little late maybe to ask the, uh, Katie um, at the village to, uh, to, to rearrange things, so maybe for next year, uh, knowing how difficult it is for somebody to rearrange the brain on an intimate basis, uh, I, I would want to do that to her. Um, so it, it, it's really uh, a question uh, for everybody else if they, if they would rather march with the staff or maybe for next year think about uh, a separate spot just for the trustees. I, I, I'd recommend that we march with the staff. Right? I think you're part of the library. I won't be there. I won't be there for the next Columbus either uh, this year. Uh, but uh, it seems like, you know, for trustees for the library, you would be with the, the staff. Right, because, yeah. right, because we My opinion. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, <coughs> that's... To me, it would seem strange marching separate. Okay. Although I'm not with them this year because I have to be with my club. Well, it would be a look off with honey because there's not too many people. Well, right. I, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just have one comment. I, I've done it a few times, and um, I think it's one time that it's a really happy time, and I think it's nice to share that time. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I mean, kind of being all together. And it's fun watching the kids and passing out our stuff. And um, the only thing is, is um, what I did like in the past and didn't happen, I believe, the last time is uh, we didn't have signage for recognition for who we were. And I really think that we should have some signage. Like each person who is yes. there, we should have, even if like I ride my bike, we should have them something I can put on my bike. Don't ride your bike. No, I, did, I tried Is that. It a bad you did? I you tried funny? that a few years ago. It's a bad idea. It is really painful trying to ride a bike that slow. Hard. <laughs> don't oh, do that. Don't. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. You just have to kind of pump. Well, it was horrible driving a car. I kept falling off of it. <laughs> so, if, if you're walking, are we supposed to wear sandwich boards? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe I'll go in the car and then just have a sign on the car. <laughs> the chaps, sure. trusty hats or something. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. Yes. That would be cute. <laughs> that would be cute. Yes, yeah, so because it was nice when we had that big sign like I put on my car and then you know people knew. Um, just, you know, I mean we should be recognized for you know, different than than just the um, like, what are you what is she doing out there? Like, yeah. my neighbor's eye. Uh, so yeah. yeah. I thought that would be I'm, I'm sure. something I kinda of missed. I'm sure Sasha could come up with something. Yeah. Uh, so well, let me know if you're gonna tell drive your car. Oh I'm not gonna I don't think I'm going to drive my car. So who is I mean, I don't have a convertible anymore. Then Karen. Karen. Okay. Oh. So where is it here? Do you have a particular place in the parking lot? Or yeah, I just have to find it. Just have to find it. Just have to find it. Find it in your right? I think I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. She, she's close enough to the end of the route. Yeah, I'm at the end. Oh, I you see. could walk to her house, pick up your car. And... Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay, so I don't, I don't think we yes. really have to uh, do anything to just discuss that as we just did. Um, uh, we do not have any unfinished business. So the next thing I need is a motion to move into executive session for the purpose of discussing appointment compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the House Main District Library, and to review and approve minutes of closed session meetings. Uh, do I have a such motion? Motion. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. All right. Um, roll call. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. And uh, yes. Yes. So now, having uh, exited from our closed executive session, and we have just a couple of things that we need to uh, wind up before we can complete our meeting for this evening. So um, I would like to ask for our motion to improve, uh, approve an e increase in the salary for our director. Um, the increase is uh, proposed uh, is a 2.5% increase with a $2,000 bonus. Uh, do I have such a motion? Motion. Daddy? Second. Second. All right. Um, would you do a, a roll call, please? Okay, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Uh, I'm going to abstain. Dennis? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, yes, that would be. Uh, yeah. Normally, what we do is we make it effective the same month every year. Okay. Um, I think that's what we would do again here too. Um, we also have. I uh, also ask for a motion to uh, change the title. Uh, I held a slim key from library director to executive director of the Niles and Niles Public Library. Do I have a motion to that effect? Motion. Second. Second. All right. Do you want to see what the title is? Didn't I say it? No, you didn't say it. Sorry. It was Grand Puba. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call her Poopa for sure? Uh, no. uh, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if we need a motion for this, but I'm also going to ask for a motion to uh, approve uh, the director's goals for 2018 to 2019 as uh, set forth in Ms. Lumpke's report. Um, which are, of course, subject to possible change throughout the year, but for now, uh, those are the goals that uh, we are adopting for our director. Uh, do I have such a motion? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I don't know that we need a roll call for that. But, uh, and what about the uh, minutes? Yes, getting to that. Um, all right. Uh, could I have a motion to approve and release the minutes of December 13th? 2017. Motion. Second. Uh, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Yes. And I don't think there will be any motion to release any additional minutes. So the motion was to approve and release okay, yeah. that, that last one. So the other four, okay. uh, I believe it was a consensus of the board to not release those minutes at this time. Okay, right. okay fine. Um, so unless there's any further business, um, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion. Okay, all in favor, I can't say aye. 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 aye.